Next item on the Houdini 10 countdown is support for the Open Dynamic Engine Rigid Body Solver. Renowned as one of the fastest solvers available, the ODE engine is a great fit with Houdini's integrated dynamics environment. When lots of rigid body objects are involved, the ODE solver lets you work faster, which is important when designing a shot. In this rendered sequence, we see a classic domino simulation created using Houdini 10's new ODE rigid body dynamics. Houdini 10 lets you switch over to ODE right on the RBD solver node. You can then choose a proxy shape for the collisions. ODE uses a variety of primitives to calculate collisions and ensure fast results. Here the dominoes were simulated using a simple box proxy. In cases where the shape is not easily described by a single primitive, a composite object can be built out of several combined primitives. Here you can see how the airplane proxy has been built out of different primitive shapes such as boxes, spheres, and the central pill shape that have all been transformed into place. You can now use this composite shape as the collision geometry in an ODE simulation. When you run the simulation, the composite shape gives you the kind of collisions you would expect while benefiting from the fast ODE solver. The ODE engine works with Houdini's RBD constraints, such as this wrecking ball knocking over a pile of lumber. The wrecking ball uses an ODE sphere proxy, while a piece of lumber uses box proxies. Even with lots of pieces, the simulation is ready quickly. The addition of the Open Dynamics engine in Houdini 10 brings faster simulations to 3D artists working with rigid bodies. Faster simulations mean more iterations for your client, which means getting the job finished on time and on budget.